funny narration of Katy Perry's pre-show makeup routine by Luke Bryan making her bang line a concrete. Luke Bryan, a friend and fellow American Idol judge, served as the narrator as Katy Perry gave fans an inside look at her pre-show beauty regimen. Prior to Monday night's Road to the Finale edition of American Idol, the I Kissed a Girl singer posted a video on Instagram detailing her beauty regimen. Brian was asked to narrate what he observed for the video by Perry, and the results made everyone laugh aloud. He started his narration with, All right, it's Luke, and Katie is getting poked in the neck. She obviously can't stop talking, Brian said hysterically. After applying eye makeup, Perry started blinking one eye open and shut. She has those strange baby doll eyes. I don't want this night to end vocalist deadpanned, all the while she's getting some dust put over her eyes. He carried on narrating as Perry's hairdresser began her work. The country singer crooned, she's getting pins in her hair. Additional hair to the hair. Brian continued to describe what he witnessed while appearing perplexed. He said, now she's getting her fingers massaged. They did a lot of combing, and now her hair is up. Later in the clip, Perry was seen applying mascara and having her cosmetic artists add extra powder. Brian remarked, she's now looking at herself doing what they already did and adding some paint color to the front part of her brains. He said, now she's clipping her natural eyelashes and they're cementing her bang line down. When Perry made a spectacular entry onto the American Idol stage for its annual Disney night episode, on Sunday night dressed as Elastigirl from The Incredibles, she displayed her superhuman abilities. She told up about why she chose the Super Mom as her costume for this year's program, which aired on Mother's Day in a group interview with people after the show. She's a fantastic mom. She does an amazing job in both positions. She does a lot of juggling. She's just amazing, remarked Perry, 38. The singer-songwriter can relate to the fictitious character in many ways because she also holds down multiple jobs. It's hilarious. In certain respects, such as this morning, I feel like my day was akin to that. I performed a concert on Friday and another one on Saturday. I arrived from Las Vegas at around 2 in the morning, the singer of Dark Horse remarked. I got some framed photos and flowers, had brunch in my jammies, and got to spend time with my daughter, Orlando, his kid, and a few other family members. I was in my pajamas, relishing all the love I received for being a mom, and then I get in the car and I'm coming here and I put on a whole latex suit, she continued. Then I start speculating about people's futures. Lives. I just played these two roles in one day. It was so wild.